Okay, so <clears throat> we can see the tooth and we can see where it's going to hit the corner there. We'll come over just a little bit and we'll watch the formation of the tooth as we cut. Okay, let's go for a test run. Okay. And we'll see how that turned out. Overexposed there, but you can see you can see that tooth is cut about perfect there and maybe went a little too far and you can see it's got a back slope so let me show you how to how to adjust that and we'll watch that uh, as the tooth forms so if it has a back slope we simply go to We go to the wheel, we'll turn it on, and we want to make that a little bit sharper. So we'll sharpen that up just slightly. Okay, and you should be able to see that slightly sharper. Now let's focus back at the tube. And we'll watch that two come together. And let me come down a little bit so you can maybe see it a little bit better at a better angle. Watch that tooth form as we come into this. Okay. Now we can look at it. And now we have more of a straight up and down cutter. It's actually it actually has just a slight forward slope. And you can see that that cutter is right down the center. That tooth is cut right down the center. It makes for a very sharp cut. And you can see this tooth would probably pretty easily shave some skin off of there. You know, just a little fingernail would probably cut very easily. So razor sharp tooth and um, you can kind of see that happening um, at, a, at a very close up with a uh, macro lens. So anyway I hope this uh, really inspires some people. Um, it's, it's just showing what this product can do and um, you know how simple it is and you know just some of the the adjustments that you can make are just super quick and easy you know if I move over you can see that um, this that this is gonna adjust your top plate angle and if we go back and look at this tooth uh, we'll look at the top plate angle here let's see if we can 
see how that top layer plate looks. 